Hello, it's Shawnee's. Um, sorry my video's late. I'm now 16 weeks and 3 days. Um, but my birthday was Saturday, which is why I'm doing this video so late. Me, my mom, and my boyfriend went to Atlanta for my birthday. So, it was not a good place to video, to do a video, I should say. But, um... I'm just going to jump right in. As far as symptoms this week, I've had back pain, swollen feet, headaches, slight nausea. Well, the nausea really, I think, might have came from the um, car ride down there. Coming home, I didn't really feel too sick, but going down there it was horrible. Um, I've also had like an extremely hard time sleeping. Let's see, what else? Um, I've been very emotional, like, everything my boyfriend says, like, even if he's being nice, I still seem to get sad about it. Um, also, um, I've been slightly out of breath. Um, the house we stayed in, we went down there, was a pretty big-sized house, so... Going up and down the stairs to the kitchen and to the room and etc. Uh, really had me very, very winded. Um, also, let's see. Oh, um, sorry. I wanted to say something about the, um, I had heartburn. But it wasn't like, like, uh, acid reflex heartburn. It was like a really, like, subtle like irritation and I don't know if it came from what I ate or if it's just something that goes along with it but it was horrible and I, I get it every time I try to lay down but it's really like the only symptoms I've had other than like frequent urination I pee like every 30 minutes if not more but other than that I mean it's been fine um also, I wanted to talk about, we find out the gender of the baby on November 9th. I'm so excited. Um, also, um, I, we did a few baby baths. Nothing major, but just a little, little things we picked up. I'm going to get them. We got some bits. This one says, Grandma gives me the best hugs. This one says, Grandma loves me. See? <laughs> Grandma, sweetie. Mm. And Grandma said I could. Which is going to go for both his grandmothers because... I know mine, she thinks the role of grandmother is the role of being able to give them whatever they want, whether you say so or not. Well, um, we also got some pacifiers. Yeah. Let's see if I can open them. I don't know if I can. I haven't tried. I don't know, I'm sorry, I can't, but I wanted to show you. There you go, you can see that one. They're blue, green, and yellow because we hadn't found out the gender yet. So I wanted to get something more unisex. And then just a small pack of white shirts. I'll take it. They're really tiny. They are three to six months though. Okay. And we also got a, a calendar. And 
Here you go. Like everything. No reason. Yeah. I opened it though. And this is like the inside. And it's just like a monthly calendar. Get like a picture up here. You can put pictures and I'm like you can write something. Like you write like how much the baby weighed and the name, place of birth, and then you put the picture right here. And then you keep track of everything going on this month. And then in the back of the book, which is what I loved about the book, there's tons of stickers. And you see, and it's like one minute you put the sticker, you put these little stickers right here. Where on the day that they turn that month out, and they also have like stickers saying the first time they smiled or when they found their hands, their first bath, visit to the hospital, um, first time to eat so, um baby food, first set, um, first holidays, um, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Hanukkah, Valentine's Day, Easter, etc. I thought it was really cute, and it wasn't that much. They came out with like eight dollars, so it was well worth the price. We put this stuff back over here. Um, I also wanted to talk about um, what did I want to talk about? I'm sorry, I'm so all over the place. Um, I wanted to talk about. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, there. I wanted to talk about when did you first, like, buy your big bulk things, like the crib and changing table and things like that. I know, like, a lot of people tell me to wait until I'm around 26, between 26 and 34 weeks to start trying to get things. But I'm young, so a lot of my money isn't guaranteed. I mean, I do have the help of my parents, or, well, my mother and then his parents. But, I mean, there's still a lot of things that I want to know that I got my baby. I want to be able to say, like, oh, mommy got you this, and not say, oh, yeah, well, grandma bought that, or anything like that. So, I want to make sure I can buy some things on my own. And I wanted to know, when should I wait to do so? I know, like, a lot of clothes and stuff should wait. Not, I mean, not necessarily everything, but I also have to think about baby shower gifts and everything. But I just rather be prepared and have everything that the baby will need, and then just use the gifts that I get at my baby shower as backups, or use that so I won't have to go out and buy the same things really fast. But um, other than that, that was really it. Um. I would love it if you guys subscribe and ask questions um, or leave comments. My plan is to do a how I told my parents video or how we told our parents video um, sometime soon after this one. If not today, maybe tomorrow. And um, maybe like a 10 things they didn't tell you about pregnancy because I really love those videos. But um, we'll see. Other than that, nothing really has been going on. I enjoyed the video. Bye.